In this video, we will go through how to combine paired reads to context with Data2. So, after this video, you will know how the paired reads are merged to context with Data2, what are the parameter options, and what are the resulting output files, and how they look like. So, now we have already denoised our reads with the tool sample inference and we are ready to merge our denoised paired reads to context. And so for that, we align the forward read with the reverse complement of the reverse read. And the alignment is done using the needleman wunsch alignment between the read pairs. And as input, you will need to give three files. So at first, you will need to give the tar package containing all the filtered forward and reverse FASTQ files. And this tar package is the same tar package you used before to create the data class objects with the sample inference tool. And then in addition, you should give the two RDA objects containing the data class objects. And this tool is based on the merge pairs function of the data2 library. So now we can move on to select the parameter options. And at first, by default, the alignment needs to be at least 12 base pairs long. And there should be no mismatches in the overlap region. And those parameter options are quite strict. But keep in mind that we have already denoised and filtered both of our reads. And those reads should be now, therefore, error free. And of course, you can also try to change those parameter values if needed. For example, if you don't have a complete overlap. But keep in mind that you should preserve the overlap when trimming the reads before. And then, in addition, there is the possibility to trim off the overhangs. And the overhangs can result when the reverse read extends past the start of the forward read and vice versa. And this behavior is trimmed off by default, but you can set it on, of course. And here you can see a visualized example on the performance of the merge pairs function. So in the filter and trim read video, we truncated the forward reads to be 240 base pairs long and the reverse reads to be 160 base pairs long, if you can remember. And that was because the reverse files were worse quality. And like you can see here, we take the forward read and the reverse complement of the reverse read and align them. And this results a 250 base pairs long contig. And then at last, we can go through the resulting output files. So we will get two files. The first one is the object contigs RDA object which contains a list of data frames. And the merge pairs function creates one data frame for each sample and we store those as those RDA objects. And then in addition, you will get a summary table to see how many reads pass the tool. And so like, you, like here in this table, we can see that after sample inference, we had around 6,976 uh, forward reads and 6,978 6, reverse reads. And after the merge pairs function, we still had in the first sample 6,533 reads. And if you would notice here that many of your reads are lost, then you would try to lower the parameter values before, or, and you should always double check that you didn't remove the overlap before in the filter and trim part.